Okay, I just watched my last video and I just thought that I would make this this one too. Okay, so you're gonna, when you're interested in going to a lie to me, I'm gonna try to give you every single detail that I can think of. So when you go into a lie to me, you are going to um, go to a lie to me.com and you're gonna call someone. Then you're gonna choose the English line if you speak English. And I'm gonna just assume this is for an American person. You're gonna go choose it and, and then you're gonna get coordinator. My coordinator was Liberty. She was a ship. So you're going to have Liberty. You and Liberty are going to talk about what surgery you want to have. So you say, I want to have the gastric sleeve. So she says, okay, here is the price for this. Now, a, a tip. You don't have to you don't have to um, schedule your surgery out super duper far and the best thing to do is to schedule your surgery when there's a deal going on because like you can schedule your surgery you know that you need to have two weeks of pre-op diet but you can when there's a deal going on you should schedule it then don't try to schedule ahead of time because some of the deals are really fucking good i didn't realize that so i scheduled mine and then when a deal came on i was like hey i want can i add that like can i add that coupon or something like that and they're like no once you once you like apply once you get a coordinator you're already a customer you know what i'm saying so you can't go and get this new customer excuse me this new customer perk so that's just something to keep in mind so like if you know you want to go around october and you have a kind of a date i would wait until that day is coming up and see if there's any deals that comes on before and then if not and that's the time you want to have it then go ahead or you can just wait for a deal because like there'll be like four thousand dollars you know i paid five thousand nine hundred ninety five and I also had a, there's also a charge for being for a higher BMI, you know, a big bitch. So I had to pay an additional $500, I do believe. Okay, so you choose that, right? So then you talk to your um, coordinator, y'all decide what surgery you're having. You decide what doctor you want. I had Dr. Ortiz. Dr. Ortiz is the, uh, the chief um, doctor here. And I, you know, never heard any complaints about him, but I did get a couple of complaints from uh, like on the facebook page right when you decide you want to do a lie to me go to the facebook page motherfuckers will complain there and it's nice because you get to see what people think and sometimes they're real petty complaints sometimes they're really serious and you and it helps you like know if you want to do this or not so you got your coordinator right now you got a coordinator now you have a date then you get your airplane tickets and then you get on the, a lighter me thing get on the lighter me page even before you want to get the uh, before you decide okay so after you get um your right when you book your tickets you have to send it over to your coordinator your coordinator is gonna be on your ass she's gonna she's about to live in those emails so um first she's gonna need your um airplane tickets are you bringing a companion if you are bringing a companion you need to send a picture of your passport and you have to send a picture of your companion's passport and your companion's uh, plane tickets so um if you don't have a passport work on it because you know you're gonna have to get it and it's not easy to get and there's always a fucking problem for some reason i had a, a whole big thing but i by the grace of god i got it okay so all right you were with me so now you got you send in your passport you send in your tickets you send in your companion's tickets you send in your companion's passport now that you're you're gonna get um questionnaires you're gonna get um like about your health about your weight about your you know all those questions like your name gender all that shit you're gonna get that then you're gonna get a whole bunch of packets about pre-op post-op um aftercare you're gonna get all that in the beginning and then after it all happens you're gonna get more emails again about them i would not delete those emails the beginning ones or the end ones because i kept mine i printed mine out but i don't delete emails anyway and they have been very very helpful to me okay so now you, you send all those in once you send that in now it is a waiting game um until you can go you have to pay a 500 deposit through to wells to a wells fargo account which is scary because you're like damn if this is not real but it is it's real and they don't take your money or anything like that they'll give you an account that you have to deposit into if you use a credit card it's a three percent charge if you use straight into cash it's not i use a credit card but my credit card company gives me three percent cash back so i didn't really spit that's why i was like i'm okay with that um so so i went ahead and i used my credit card but you just remember that that's three percent based off of whatever you pay so if it's you pay four thousand dollars you're gonna have the an additional three percent of four four thousand dollars so keep that in mind okay so you pay your 500 deposit so say you have two weeks now your two-week diet you can i'm not gonna go into all that but like <coughs> salad <coughs> soup excuse me <coughs> 
<coughs> excuse me soup and salad <coughs> that's all you get and water excuse me i'm sorry and so then there's that okay now it's the time a couple of days before your surgery before you head to tijuana they're going to send you different packages with the driver's names the driver's um numbers and um the drivers also get your information they have a picture of you i think they have a picture of you and they have they have a picture of you they have um your name your companion's name and they have your phone number and so when you get onto the plane and you come down your companion is going to call you no, I'm sorry, not your companion. Your uh, driver is going to call you. And if your driver doesn't call you, by the time you get down, you can call them because um, you're going to have that email. Like I said, don't delete your emails or save them, save those numbers. So you're going to call and say, hey, I'm here. But from everybody that I talked to you, even if they were late, they called you right when they, they know your playing times. And you have to tell and the reason why you have to tell them the playing times is because if anything changes, they're watching it to know, oh, her plane got delayed. Oh, her plane is going to be 30 minutes ahead. My plane came in early and they knew that and they were there okay so um now you have so uh, so when you get into the the um when you finally get your driver right then they're gonna give you the whole spiel okay we're about to take you to your hotel when we take you to your, or we're about to take you to the hospital when we take you to the hospital take all your luggage with you which they take out the car for you anyway um then they you go to the hospital you get your ekg done and your blood work done so uh, there a man named david did my blood work and i don't know the lady's name but she's an older woman she didn't play no game she told me to shut up like three times because i was trying to talk to her and apparently you can't talk to me ekg so she was like shh shh it was fucking hilarious okay so when we go to the first thing you do they drop you to the hospital you get your blood work done you get your ekg done after that you have the rest of the day they're going to take you back to the hotel you have the rest of the day now unless you're same day surgery i wasn't same day surgery so this is from this is just my experience okay so the next day so we, the, we got in around one o'clock i think i can't fucking remember we left um american or at eight we got into tijuana around one and um so one o'clock so then we had all day i'm sorry i'm like fucking struggling with the numbers but i know that we had a whole day we went we went to this um restaurant downstairs and we're across the street fonda has some good ass beef broth so after that the next day we go in we leave they tell you we gotta be down 30 minutes early so we got up at 7 30 all of us were there waiting for them they were not on and um we went to the hospital then they let you know who's going in so me and another woman went in <laughs> excuse me i'm so sorry and there was three women and uh that was doing it that day so me and the other girl go in they gave us this uh whole outfit to put on because we're about to go to surgery um they gave us this whole outfit to put on and um they told us to go to the bathroom, but me and her were like, we were talking and stuff, so we just changed right there. There was a camera in the room, after, and we didn't realize that afterwards, so we gave them a whole show. Big girls going wow. But, um, so we were laughing about that. But then we'll sit into that room. We'll sit in that room. It looks like there is their lounge room, but then they'll take us into the room. They put us on the beds, and then they'll give us our, our IVs, and they'll take our, um, you know, they'll do some more blood work. It's not blood work, but, um, like, blood pressure, all that kind of stuff, just to check on you, your vitals, and all that good stuff. Then, after they do that, um, after they check on your vitals, uh, they are, then, you know, the guy who does it, it's hilarious. I don't know if it's the same guy every time, he didn't speak good English, but he was cracking me up, uh, cause he was trying and it was not good, so we were laughing. Um, then you go in for your surgery. You go in for your surgery. I cannot tell you what the hell happens after that, cause I was not gonna be fuck out. My companion could probably fit me in a little bit, but, um, always how i've been so i slept a lot so once we do that you have people coming in um um clockwork with medicine they're gonna give you nauseous um they're gonna give you something for nausea something for pain and something for um um acid reflux no 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 pain nausea um antibiotics and there was a third one i can't fucking remember right now sorry but they give you three different things um 
and they just come in like clockwork and give it to you and then you have to get up you have to play you have to to avoid getting bronchitis i think that is or uh, pneumonia is to avoid getting pneumonia they give you this little tool that you have to blow to keep a ball like in the middle to keep a ball like in the middle of like this little tube and you have to blow it for a long time to stop you from getting pneumonia and then every hour you need to walk for 15 minutes and your companion is supposed to make you do that so um, after that, after you sit into the hospital for, you're going to be in the hospital for two days, walking every day or every hour, um, getting your fluids in. Once you can start getting fluids in, they give you ice chips for the first day. And then the second day you get to get, you get to get Gatorade and water and apple juice. Then, um, when you get back, so you're going to be in the hospital for two days. When you get out of the hospital, so I had to come back and change my scenery, but let me just finish off what I had to say. So what? Okay. So. You're gonna be in the hospital for two days. After you get the hospital, then you're gonna have two more days before it's time for you to go home. Some people leave early, but they have to be like, a, like the coroners have to agree to it. <clears throat> I'm not feeling good right now. No, I'm just, I just took my medicine, so it's just gonna take a minute to kick in. But so let me make this fast. So you come in after your hospital. You come to the hotel for two more days. So the first day back at the hotel, you, um, we went on a tour. And we went on tour around 12 o'clock. We got back around like 4 or 5. So it was a couple of hours. We went to go see the medication place. That bitch was expensive, okay? I ain't had no money for it. I bought some. I bought one thing that was $25. Then we went to, after the after we went to the medical place, the medicine place, the pharmacy or whatever, then we went to get some soup. It was beef. It was, it was a broccoli Fuck. It was cheese and potato broth, but there was nothing in it, but it just tastes like cheese and potatoes. It was so good. I took a picture of it. And then after we had that, we went and we got some... Oh, we went to the strip and we bought stuff. I talked about that earlier. So much fun. I bought... Let me see. Hold on. Let me get up. Ugh. I, um... I got some knockoff stuff, you know, because I'm broke and I ain't never been afraid to no rock a knockoff. Just kidding. Okay, but I got this. My cousin got a purse too, but I got this. Ooh. Um, and this was forty bucks. I got this for forty dollars. He tried it with a hundred dollars at first. My cousin talked him down. I was gonna take credit for it, but she talked him down, so I'm not even gonna lie. But so we went there. Then we got ice cream. I didn't get ice cream. So I can't tell if it was good or not because cold does not work on my stomach. Hot works. Cold does not for me. But for my friend Tammy, completely opposite. Cold does really, really good for her. Hot, she can't really do. So, you know, your our bodies are different. Now, then that was yesterday. Then after we had our tour, we had a couple hours in between. Then we had a meeting. It was supposed to be with Dr. Ortiz, but he got held up with something. So we had another guy who was fine. He talked real low, though, and he talked fast as hell, so didn't know what he said. So, um, yeah, so we had that meeting, then we had the rest of the day, and, you know, all of the girls, we just kind of sat in the same room together. I don't know how to hold this phone. We sat in the same room together um, for a couple hours, and we, me and my companion went back to our room, talked, talked about everybody. Just kidding. And then, now today, today is our last day. So far, we woke, we woke up when we wanted to. There was no time to get up today, which has been the only day that we haven't had a certain time that we had to be somewhere, you know. And actually, there's a beach tour at 3 today. I don't think I'm going to go, though. I just um, don't really want to go. My companion kind of wants to go. And so if she wants to go and she wants me to go with her, I will. But I'm not really... I'm really okay with being in the house. I'm not, I've never really been into beaches and stuff like that. Like, I don't want the sand on my toes and stuff and et cetera, et cetera. And I'm lazy as hell and I just want to stay in this bed. I'm not because of laziness, but just like I'm okay, laziness, whatever. So that is everything that I can think of. Um, if you think about the process or anything like that, like that's everything in a really short nutshell. Of what happens, of what you should expect. Excuse me. We did our leak test. We didn't have a popsicle. We had blue juice. Popsicles are not for leak tests. Popsicles are for what we can eat. 
but we didn't have a popsicle for Elisa, so we had some blue juice that tastes like ass and life regrets, and we um, drunk that, and then they made us drink some damn water that tasted like more ass, and then they did this little x-ray on our chest to see, and that's how we got approved to go to the ho the hotel after the lead test was finished, so that had happened before we went to the hotel, which I probably should have told you that earlier, but I thought about it just now, so, but, um, when I drink, I have to, like, hold it, let, like, this much go through, and, like, you feel everything. Like, you feel you swallowing stuff. You feel it going down to your stomach. You feel all that. So, what I'm about to do right now, my companion was go get some Carlos Jr. I asked her if she would give me some soup, but she told me because I was being lazy, she probably wouldn't. And I have to go get my own damn soup. Fucking companions. Thank shit. So, I'm probably about to take a shower, call room service so they can come put my bandages on. And then I'm probably about to take a mean ass nap until um later on maybe i will go to the beach i don't know yet but that was everything my braids coming out i lost all my nails um do not come here looking cute there's no point you're gonna come out looking ratchet regardless i got i'm glad that i did i got my hair braided for this day but it or for this week but it only lasted this week because they put they would put stuff in my head you know and when you're sick, you just, when you when you out of surgery, you know, you just don't put on a bonnet. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? It's just not, it's not something you're thinking about. But thank you so much for watching for the, that's not a booger, it's my nose ring. That's, anyways. All right, guys, I'm done talking. Nicki Minaj just posted on her Instagram, so I'm about to go see what she posted. Bye!